Canadians on the West Coast waking up this morning after a shaky night. A series of earthquakes struck off Vancouver Island, and one of them measured as high as magnitude 6.8. Let's go to Megan Roberts, who's been gathering the details for us. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Heather. We saw even after those three big earthquakes, a few smaller earthquakes. And in fact, we just saw one not too long ago. So there's still some seismic activity in that region. So far, a total of six earthquakes late last night and early this morning local time. And we'll focus on the three biggest ones, which you see there on your screen. Those happened southwest of Port Hardy on Vancouver Island. The first one happened just before 11 p.m. Pacific time. That's the 6.6 .6 you see. And then about 40 minutes later, that 6.8 magnitude quake hit in that same area. And then finally, <clears throat> excuse me, not even 10 minutes later, that third big air, uh, earthquake, the 6.5, hit again in the same area. And then we've seen a number of 4 point whatever magnitude earthquakes as well, a couple of different ones, which is why I didn't have an exact number there. So we're continuing to see some of these small earthquakes. It's worth noting there's no tsunami warning, no reports of injuries or damage. This is what it looked like on the seismogram viewer. You can see there those massive lines that's in UTC coordinated universal time and you can see how big the activity was there in Port Hardy. Now the Canadian government's reporting there are no reports of this quake being felt but we did see a tweet from a woman who says that she did in fact feel that earthquake. Let's bring that up. You can say, see there she said that she heard and felt everything in her house shake only to find that there was a 6.8 earthquake. That was the one in the middle there. Now we do have CBC meteorologist and seismologist Johanna Wegstaff that always reports on things in Vancouver. She says that it does seem to be unusual to have three large earthquakes like that back to back to back. So certainly we'll see as, as scientists continue to analyze exactly what happened if there's anything unusual in these earthquakes. So she she does say, uh, Wagstaff, Johanna Wagstaff, that if this had happened, of course, closer to land, those are very high magnitudes. It could have had a devastating effect, Heather. Megan, thank you very much.